this just sums up everything for me with Great Sits Radio and Rewind Festival. I've met all, all you lot, you lot, you know what all I mean, as lot, in you yeah. lot, who I've not seen for like 35 Oh, I haven't years. seen you for years. It's ridiculous. It's really great. But, isn't it? Because we're all the same. But we all get it. Does that it. mean we're all old? No, no, no. <laughs> you no. look great, by the way. So do you, though. You know, Especially well, considering... Well, you try your best, don't you? You, know? you try more than your best, because for you to come up on stage... Oh, yeah. ...with your injury, which is really boring, I know, because everyone goes, what's happened? But I think people know now, don't they? Yeah, I just slipped on a wet floor and then had to have major surgery the next day, so... It, it's I, I'm fortunate I've had to cancel a couple of shows, but this is only 30 minutes from where I live. Yeah. So I said, look, I, I, I'm going to do it. Did they shove you in a wheelbarrow it. and just... <laughs> yeah, shove me in a wheelbarrow. Downhill. Mi Mrs. was glad to get rid of me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's amazing. Do you know what? Your voice. You know, I was, I was watching sort of all the sort of Elton John and Paul McCartney. And, you know, lately you've had those big names, those yeah. big voices performing, but at a certain age and... Your voice has not changed one bit, but also you're sitting down when you're performing today. And I, I shut my eyes and I thought, it's no different. You know, and I was that girl having a slowy to true, not wanting having to snog him. Having a snog and a slowy. Oh. oh, not wanting to snog him. No. Oh, was he not no. that old? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't like that then. I'd either Well, you off... like it in there? Then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Sorry. I am. That comes with yeah, age. It's... Do you know, I mean, listen, I've, I've, d I've done my knee and stuff. You've gone red. I know. So I have. have I. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do it. I wanted to. The audience were absolutely amazing. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely fantastic. They so. were so, honestly, I think yeah. they were just so grateful that you actually, you know, because everyone said, is he coming, is he coming? And a lot of people would have said, you know what, and it's a bad injury. Well, the night I did it, um, it I was in Italy. We had 20,000 people. And I was on the floor, kind of, I yelled a bit and put it back into place and stuff. And I said, look, I'm going to do it. So I sat on a stall. I did an hour and 15 minutes. And then, of course, it got in the Italian press, so it's all over Italy that, you know. But, I, you know, I, I think it's, you know, the show must go. I sounds yeah. like a real it's a cliche. old school. It's a cliche, no, but, it's but true. you don't want to disappoint. No. And I've had to cancel two shows, and I hated it. I bet. But I couldn't do the traveling. It was. Yeah. It, I've got to be a bit careful. Yeah, but hat off to you, honestly. Thank you. But make sure you do your rehab. I know I'm going to do that. I'm already, yeah. I'm already doing, doing my bits it. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, and keep doing yeah. it after you Driving feel like... Driving the Mrs. Mad. Yeah, well, that's it. Are you going to be one of those grumpy guys now that's just no. like, oh, get me a tea, I can't reach. Oh, oh can I have another sandwich, please? No, <laughs> no, you don't... I'm, no I'm actually... I, I hate being yeah, in this be position. So she's always telling me, for God's sake, don't do that. I'm like, no, anyway. But the thing is, for you, the one thing that I know you will always do, it's sing. And we were talking before about podcasts and writing books and stuff, but you said, you know what, Jen, I just want to sing. Well, I just, I love singing. I mean, you know, out there today, they were, wow. Yeah, and they're singing they along to every word. It's just such a, it's such a sort of a euphoria when you're sitting there. Well, normally Isn't I'm standing, it? but, yeah. uh, and you're singing to, every, singing to everybody and you're getting loads of feedback. Um, it's just it's just amazing and and I love you know work in the studio got a new album coming out new swing thing coming out yeah the swing so, thing I'm loving that well I'm touring in March okay. so we're doing a whole swing tour and I'm repackaging an album of swing music that I never really properly released so we're doing some new songs to uh, attach it yeah and then the new new album comes in September October fabulous so Sounds you are good. doing what you love most yeah well I, I, I love writing I mean Otherwise, you become my own. I become my own tribute band. You know? <laughs> Tony Adley, a tribute to Spandau Ballet. And is it, you is know? it really Tony, or is it the other Tony that we see at all the weddings? That so yeah, well, you know, well, exactly. I have, I have Tony. I'm the wedding singer. <laughs> <laughs> but no, oh, you, you know what I mean. I yeah, mean, I love singing I "True" and "Gold" or "Through yeah. the Barricades." I never get tired of singing those songs. But on the other hand, you've got to. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to do a new song today, mm -hmm. which is a real shame. I had to drop it because we were under a time restraint. But there you go. That's life. So when we were talking about the true song and the slowy, you know, you are the icon for me for the slowy dance. And every time I close my eyes and I think of that first snoggy moment, I think of you, but in the right way. Was it a good kiss or a sloppy uh, yeah, kiss? It was good. No, no, it was good. It was good. Was good. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Good. Just for checking. a novice, because I was young. And. I was just wondering, what's your favourite slowy? I used to call I it a slowy. I thought you were going to ask me my favourite kiss. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that too. 
Oh, 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 oh. With my wife, of course. Yes, Lizzie. of course. <laughs> favourite um, slowing track. My favourite song. As the Je oh, Really? Oh. Oh. You cannot beat Je Oh, and hello. Then, and she very recently uh, died, and and I was I thought she was so beautiful. Her Serge Gainsbourg and uh, beauty. It's just when that song comes on, mm. I'm immediately transported back to another. But to your school time. disco. Yeah, and I mean, absolutely. were you like a bit like, oh, were you sort of we like used to go around in circles, didn't you? Away, or would you be like, oh, a bit pressy? Well, it depends who she was. Okay, yeah, and if things got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you've always said and I love this you're saying but we were just you know in the world of music and especially in the I've 80s I've gone red again <laughs> hi welcome to Tony and Jenny go red <laughs> but you know back in the 80s when um, everything was quite leery wasn't it it was quite bold everyone oh, yeah. was really, yeah. and you always just say we were so ordinary back then you were the ordinary ones first well I mean, I mean I mean in terms of what we wore yes it was mm. avant-garde and everything it was the whole but you know at the end of the day it's a bunch of kids from the Angel Islington all dressing up, having a laugh, you know, going out to clubs. Hello, darling, do you fancy a, you know, beer or, or glass of wine? You know, we're having a laugh and we, all of a sudden, I, I don't think in those days people thought that you could be famous, certainly from where I came from. Mm -hmm. And I just spoke about the Madness book, yeah, you know, yeah. when we was we. And we, we wanted to be making music and we hoped that we'd be popular and that we would make records. You didn't think but, it'd be a reality. I mean, these days, everybody's like, I want to be famous. And everyone famous. thinks they can, yeah. like instantly. But back then, we didn't think it no. was a possibility. Yeah, I mean, we Absolutely. had three TV channels. My dad worked for the Daily Mail and mum worked for the Area Health. Yeah. And we lived in Islington and it was it was pretty rough, you know. But I love the story how your, your mum with Suggs, knew Suggs' mum back then, and they used to go washing clothes together. Yeah, but when... Picture when I was, this scene, everyone. So when I was reading the book, When We Was We, you've got to buy it, the Madness book. And it's very anecdotal, uh, completely verbatim, as they are talking about their upbringing in, um, in North London, which the parallels between their lives growing up and mine was incredible. But then at one point, uh, Suggsy and his mum moved to Clerkenwell, yeah. and she used to go to the Merlin Street Baths, and there was a communal uh, cleaning sort of washing machine place there. And my mum, my nan, my aunties, cool. everybody used to go. Suggs' mum used to go as How well. How cool is that? And the girls, all the women, all the ladies. Have a good old gas. Had a good old gas and went Mowed and did the washing. about indoors. But what for you stands out in the 80s that was an iconic moment for you? Uh, it might be personal. It might be for, for what happened with you and, and music for you then, um, or just something that really says it all that's iconic in the 80s. Well, the obvious one is Live Aid. I mean, that's, yeah. the, that's the obvious one. Yeah. But um, I think, for me, when I was 17, yeah. I met Frank Sinatra <gasps> at a Royal Albert Hall. I took my mum, and uh, I got her in for nothing. Don't ask me how. But anyway, I did. and. Um, and I knew that he was, when he was coming off stage, and I went through and I shook his hand and he said, what are you doing, son? I said, well, I'm at school doing my A-levels, but I'm in a band and I want to be a singer like yourself. And one day I'd love to play the Royal Albert Hall as well. And he said, well, son, good luck to you. Hope you live your dreams and everything else, blah, blah, blah. Which was really, he was very, very sweet, actually. And considering I was this little oik who just got backstage. And six years later, Spandau Valley played the Royal there. Albert Hall. And I stood on the stage at the sound check and I thought, yeah, dreams do come true. What and how inspirational for people uh, that, that you know you have to. There are moments like that. Yeah. And it's an energy, isn't it? And it's a. It's well, a, I think it's almost like a manifestation. That I think the thing is, is you've got to realise, you know, I didn't come from a privileged background at all. No. You know, I mean, I hate the class system with a vengeance. So it was an ordinary background. You know, I was lucky I went to grammar school and everything else. But, but, you you, you can do anything and be anything you want to be. But you've got to have that vision and determination dream and don't make an excuse for the, the frailties of life. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Yeah. You can achieve whatever you want. Gosh, you're wise, Tony Hadley, aren't you? Is, is that me talking or the wine talking? I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure hey. Whatever it's wise <laughs> wine, it's working. I do. It's lovely. It's Isn't very it? nice wine as well. And you wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon, didn't you? Yeah. It's I a shame been. it wasn't about. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> gutted. Oh, dear. Hey? No. I, I, You'd have gone down that route. If, if I'd gone down, I know I, I still find, I mean, I can watch, my wife thinks I'm absolutely barking mad. I watch open heart surgery and go, 
Wow, that's amazing. I even watched an operation myself when I had an epidural. Oh, I do that. And I watched myself being operated on screen. My mum thought I was really sick. She's right. She's probably right. <laughs> but, right, let's go back to the 80s right. then. Well, I don't know where we are. No, I don't know. But everyone, sort of, we all, we've all had it. Like, I came from the 80s, and again, yep. as a presenter with no limits, I didn't... They never got people off the street and auditioned them and said you can be on the TV now. We didn't really well, think... Well, in those days, I mean, sort of everyone had to be a very posh and... Yes, yeah, like, and so, I talk like that, and I was like... Yeah, like, all right, mate, and I, all right. Um, I mean, I think it's great. I mean, listen, in my eyes, everybody's equal. I don't yeah. care who you are, where you come from, what your accent is. As I said, I hate the class system. And everybody's entitled to opportunity. That's the way I am. That's the way... If you, anyone who knows me knows that I don't treat anybody differently. differently. Absolutely. Absolutely not. You went and got your own wine for a start, didn't you? <laughs> well, I hopped and got my own wine. <laughs> and back in the 80s, from your experiences then, because I've got so much that I want to pass on from what I learned in the 80s. What could, would you pass on now? Well, to any young bands that are watching this or young artists, get independent legal advice. It's a very good avenue to go down. Profound. Gosh, we've seen all we're all sides of Tony Hadley today. But you know what? I'm, listen, I'm an open book. You get to a certain point you age do. wise, and you just and I, you, know. I just don't care. No, I really just say I what mean, I want. Yeah, and... I mean, I try not to swear. No, no, I don't yeah. do that. But no, me neither. But otherwise, but I, I just think you've got to be honest. Well, People will have so much more respect for you yeah. if you're honest about things. Right. So answer this question okay, honestly. Okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I hope that up. you open that up for yourself. <laughs> all right, go on then, go on then. Everybody so far, all your mates, everyone yeah. here, uh, I've asked this. What is your 80s secret? What is the secret that you've still not revealed to this day? Be open and honest. That's the most difficult question I think I've ever been asked. What is my 80s secret? Yeah. Were there any, or were you that no. open? No. I just, what you see is what you get. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you know, I mean, too. I'd even go down to, down the pub with my mates dressed as Robin Hood. You know, I didn't care. <laughs> it's like it wasn't a problem. So. Not a problem. So no, you're secret free. No, I don't. I don't think I have any secrets. So for the, the reaction you've had with the crowd out there has been absolutely yeah, stupendous. Been fantastic. And, and it feeds your soul, doesn't it? I, this happened on Wednesday. Uh, honestly, I, I, to go out there today was amazing. Yeah. They were so wonderful, and thank you very, very much. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you, Tony. Good to honestly. see you. It's so good. It has been like one of those, I feel like I'm in some kind of we care haven't, home. Honestly, we <laughs> haven't seen each other for years. And you go, oh, my back's killing me, and I'm going, oh, I can't wear those heels so, anymore. So Tony, quick, what quick have you story, done to your leg? Quick story, so oh, I was with Carol Decker and Sama Le Bon. Yeah. And we were doing uh, we were doing a charity do. And we hadn't seen each other for ages. And we're all standing there chatting away. And we're all talking about ailments. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Why am to sex, drugs and rock and roll? <laughs> it's like... I'm too tired, Tony. I don't know about you. What, good book and go to sleep yeah. at nine o'clock? I'll get that madness book. That's what you said. Yeah, no, when we was we... Absolutely, but I love Suggs and all the boys. Feds, right. I love I'll them. do that. When we was we, and are we a lot as well now? I'm older, so I'll, <laughs> that Tony Hadley. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, good to see you. That was such. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs>